this is from the most recent one in December. And this, is, this one is from the very first time and the second time. These are scars from Courtney Howard's battle with cancer, a battle she is fighting again for the third time in two years. This is our second home for the past year and a half. But every Tuesday and Friday night, Courtney wins a small victory when she plays another basketball game. Just knowing that after chemo, I always can come back to this and... This is what I love. Her most recent round of chemotherapy began last month, and although it didn't affect her in this particular game, it was impossible not to think about it when a chunk of her hair fell out. I don't know, some girl came flying through, took it out, and I saw it floating. So, no big deal. It's coming out, it's coming out. Courtney was the hero against Ennis, hitting a free throw with six seconds left in overtime to win. After the celebration, it was back to real life. She went home, shaved her head, and the next morning, she was at Children's Medical Center Dallas for treatment. Yeah, I made the last one. To, you made the last yeah, one. Yeah, to right. guess the one point ahead, and then. All right, you won yeah. the game. When she comes back from her from her treatment, and uh, hardly has any color at all, and just looks terrible, uh, and is like that for a couple of days, but still practices, still comes to school. She hurt all over. I mean, she would come and lay down in the floor behind me and just cried. You know, said, you know, mama hurt all over, my joints hurt. And I'll be tired for, for a couple of days and then I'll start getting energy back and my appetite will be gone. And then I have this copper taste in my mouth and nothing tastes right. With everything that Courtney is going through, it would seem that shooting free throws in overtime is insignificant, and it is. But that night against Ennis, she felt pressure. And if nothing else, that proves just how important basketball is to her. I'm thinking I need to make this, make this go in so I can get over this game and put in the W column. Yeah, so there was some pressure? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't think she could deal with this as well if she didn't get to play. That's her like, top priority. Even more important than basketball is her family. They surround her during chemo, and Courtney has never had to spend a night alone in the hospital. You can't ask um, why me. You know, I don't want to give up. I want to fight this and show everybody that there is, you know, you're not, if you have cancer, oh my gosh, you're going to die. You know, you can beat it. Many and many people have, <clears throat> and I want to be one of them. Ted Madden, Channel 8 Sports.